Ciao, friends. This is Liz from SimpleItalianCooking.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a really easy recipe. I know you're going to love it. It's for veggie stuffed zucchinis. And we're going to be using very simple ingredients with lots of flavor. And all we're going to need is some onion, about three quarters of a cup or three quarters of an onion. I'm using red onion today. You can use yellow onion if that's all you have. I've done it both ways. Also, we want chopped fresh tomatoes. So whether you're chopping up cherry tomatoes or larger tomatoes, that's fine. Just don't have it really, really runny. And then we have some garlic. Um, and the garlic, uh, I would recommend one clove of garlic. If you love garlic, add two. I love garlic, so I'm having a little bit more. And then you're gonna need about three tablespoons of olive oil. And what this is used for is we're gonna pour the majority of it into a saucepan because we're going to saute the onions and the tomatoes and also the pulp of the zucchini. And that's gonna saute until the onions are soft and translucent. And then we're gonna use the rest of the olive oil to top it before we bake it. Now you're also going to need some breadcrumbs here and, and you're, you're about, I would say about maybe a half a cup or a quarter of a cup. Again, depending on the size of the zucchini, if you have very large zucchinis, you're gonna need more. You're just doing a few and they're small like mine, then you're gonna need less and probably about a quarter of a cup of Romano cheese. If you don't have Romano cheese, then go ahead with Parmesan and Parmesan will be totally fine. And then we're just going to add probably a dash of salt and pepper at the end if you want to do that. First thing we need to do is we're going to cut off the stems of the zucchini. And then what we're going to do and make sure they're washed. We don't need to peel them because we don't want them to lose their shape. And you're just going to simply cut it in half like this lengthwise. And then what we're going to do using a small knife, we're going to just score around so we can hollow it out. And then we're going to use a little spoon and we're going to scoop it out. And I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to do this. And you're not going all the way through, but you are going down enough so that you're leaving a good base because we don't want it to seep through the bottom. Once you have the two, the two lines on the side and the top, what you want to do is just score it. And you'll see why in just a second. And then score it this way. What you've essentially done is you've made it very easy to scoop out. And they're going to scoop out in little cubes. And if you didn't do it like mine, you know, you can just go. I didn't go far enough underneath them. Uh, pull that out and you can see it just starts coming out and that's exactly what we want and then you can just use the top of your spoon and pour it out and that gives it that nice hollow round shape now if you have a lot of seeds in your zucchini especially if it's a more mature zucchini then remove those seeds we don't want them okay then what you're going to do, so I'm going to do this with all, all three of these, is you're just simply going to chop them because we don't want long pieces like this. Just chop them about the same size as what your, your diced onions are. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the three zucchinis and I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so I have my induction burner here with my frying pan. And I'm going to go ahead and heat this up over low heat, low medium, and I'm going to add most of the olive oil, not all of it. Okay. And we're going to let that go ahead and heat up. Once it's heated, we're going to go ahead and add in the zucchini pulp that we've chopped. So I have that right here. This is going to really cook down. So don't be concerned if it looks like it's all going to be too much to fit in. And then we're going to add the tomatoes and the red onion. And you can see here my hollowed out zucchini. Now, I am not known for being the, the neatest person when it comes to cooking. It's okay if your zucchinis are a little misshapen or some are not so deep <laughs> as, as this, but that's totally okay. And these are going to taste great. So I'm really excited for you to try these. I think this is heated up enough. I'm going to go ahead and just add everything in, including the garlic. And the smell is going to be absolutely amazing. 
get all that red onion. It's not cheap these days. Give it a good mix so it's all coated with that olive oil. And you want to use extra virgin olive oil. The reason why, if you're using regular cooking olive oil, is not going to have the flavor that you really need. And it's going to come out tasty. Eh. So I use, always use extra virgin olive oil. I actually use organic extra virgin olive oil. So if you can get organic, get your hands on it. All right, so the mixture has really cooked down quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then we are going to just go ahead and put the entire mixture into a bowl. One thing I forgot to mention was to preheat your oven to 375. We're going to be cooking these. And honestly, the, the times really vary depending on how soft you like your zucchini. So I would say anywhere between 35 and 45 to 50 minutes, depending on how many you have, how big they are, how thick they are. Since mine are small and tend to be a little thinner, I'm going to go ahead and probably put mine in for about 40 minutes and that will be enough. And then, you know, you want it to be firm enough that you can pierce it with a fork and even cut it, but soft enough where you can actually cut it with a fork. So let's go ahead and add in the quarter cup of cheese, quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Adjust quantities to your liking, okay? So you use this as a base. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this in my mixture. And yes, I should have used a much larger bowl. But that's okay. And we're going to bake these uncovered in case you're wondering. So, okay. So all you got to do at this point is just scoop it in. Use your fingers if you have to. And just scoop them. Scoop it in. Pile it as high as you need to. As you're filling these, if you've never made this before, you're going to get a hint of what they're going to taste like. Because when you have that, that Italian cheese mixed with the breadcrumbs, mixed with the tomatoes, mixed with the onion, oh my gosh, it is so good. It is so, so, oh, and the garlic. And really, that's what I'm about. Simple, easy Italian recipes. That's the way I like it. That's the thing about Italian cooking and Italian food is it's, it doesn't have to be complicated to be good. Not good. Delicious. Amazing. Fantastic. Okay, and the last step that we're going to do before we put it in the oven is we're going to, you can either drizzle the olive oil on or you can use one of these. These are really great. These actually come off. They're silicone. And you just throw them in the dishwasher to clean them. They come out great. There's no olive oil residue. And they come on and off really easy, which is nice. I like to brush the olive oil on and use up that olive oil because it's going to help crisp up those breadcrumbs on top. And you can use this for lunch. You can use it for a dinner. You can use it with some pasta on the side. And it's just great. I mean, and it's vegetarian. No meat. You don't even have to make a big deal about it. Like, don't say like, oh, it's vegetarian unless like your whole family loves vegetarian food because it's just, you don't want people to have the wrong idea that these are not satisfying and fulfilling and with all these lovely, delicious flavors, it will be. All right. So into the oven they go uncovered for, I'm going to put mine in for 35 to 40 minutes. And we'll see how that is. And again, you can go all the way up to 50. All right, see you in a bit. Ciao, friends. Okay, so the stuffed zucchini is done. It's perfect. It is delicious. It smells amazing. And I've already had one. And you can just use your fork and it goes right through. See that? So tastes delicious. I really hope you try this recipe. It's so easy to do. So let me know how it goes for you. and. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And when we come out with more recipes and more videos, you'll be notified. Well, thanks so much for watching. Grazie e ciao.